hello everyone in the last video we have seen how to log in the user and create the uh, this token authentication token in this video we will see how to get that user by the token and uh, how to create a middleware that will be used each and every uh, private route private means in the protected routes which we are going to create like profile or anything else something like that so let's get started first uh, since I have already logged in so I don't want to log in again and again in that case I will create a route which will be a get route which will get me the user details whenever I want to use this will be the route here uh, request response will be a function and a middleware is something which sits uh, which sits in between the request and the response so which it, it will sit here it's a function req request response and next so it's also a function which we pass here and the first thing which we have to do is we have to get the token from header so request dot header is x a u t h x auth second thing we have to do is we have to pass this user to a function which will find the user by the token so that that function we will create which will be user dot find user by t o k n and we will pass this token here now let's create this function in our model so find user by token it will also be the static one because we want to find it in among a lot of users so normal function which has a token here k and token now click user is a user and will create a no, let me d code we want to get the id from the token because since you already seen that we are <coughs> uh, passing our id inside the string so we can fetch that id from this token let it be like this undefined then we'll do it inside a try catch block so that if any error comes it should not crash our application uh, decoded equal to uh, we have jwt so very fine this jwt will verify our token uh, here is the token and second parameter is we have to pass as our secret key which is this one as a string now we have the decoded value here simply we have to uh, re you are in return from this dot re jct promise dot reject and here we have to return uh, user dot find one inside this underscore id will be decoded dot underscore id and there you go now we will use this since it is returning a promise so we can chain it by then here we will get the user and we will do if a not user simply PRO PRO MIS promise dot re JCT reject else else what we have to do yeah so we have to concatenate let's add our user into the request body request dot user equal to user which we got from here and request dot token equal to token and we have to do next that's what we have to do for now here and now we can add a catch block so that if any error comes 
we can get that error here as a function and here we'll do response dot status dot send let's let not send anything status will be 401 unauthorized so so this is our middleware if we will get the user we are adding it into the request body request dot user so here now we can do response dot send request dot user that's how we have to do it here now I will check it here is my user and here is the header which I have used already and I will check it and there you go I am getting the uh, what do you say I am getting the user details we can also do it so guys that's how we can create a middleware which will sit in between this function and this route so since it's a function and it is we have to use it again and again so what we can do we can create a folder for this my middle w a r e middleware yes make it as we'll create a file file a u n t k authenticate dot js and we'll put our middleware which is this we'll cut it from here and we'll put it here const a and ticket equal to this one and we have to export it so module dot xport exports equal to authenticate simply and then uh, we have to import user also const user equal to the way we have used here similarly okay now let's import this authentication here const authenticate from re qui re require We will go up MIDDL middle WRE middleware middleware so it is authenticate and we will use this instance here. So I hope this should work. It has thrown some error. Uh, no, no no error so see the way you are getting the user this was the previous error actually so now once it restarted there is no error so guys this is how we can create a middleware and we can create a function in the next video we will see how to log out the user till then uh, be with me subscribe like dislike comment compliment feedbacks whatever you want to give depends on use Bye-bye, take care.